Hey guys, I'm really excited about this video. I think you guys are really excited about this video too. I've gotten so many comments uh, on Instagram, here on YouTube. It was like, I could be talking about foundation and every time I looked at a comment, there'd be one that was like, did you get the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks? Did you get them? So yes, I did get them. They have arrived. I'm so excited to be talking about these lipsticks and, and show them to you. We're gonna be doing some hand swatches. We'll be doing some lip swatches, obviously. Um, I just wanted to show you the lovely box that it got delivered in. It has a little Lisa Eldridge there. It reminds us to recycle, which is great. And if you ordered two lip sticks uh you got a little pouch so i actually placed two orders like like an idiot so i placed an order for two lipsticks i was like these are bright colors they're not really me blah 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 so i placed an order for two then lisa eldridge came out with her video swatching all four of them and of course after watching the video i was like oh Oh, okay, I need I need the other two. So then I placed an order for the other two. So now I have two pouches, which will come in very, very handy. So this is a follow up to her plush velvet matte. I think that was the full name or plush matte velvet lipsticks that she came out with. I want to say over the holiday season, she came out with three colors. They sold out very, very quickly. And as I understand it, she's going to be restocking those lipsticks, I think in a couple of weeks, maybe by the end of this month. So if you missed out on those, definitely, definitely, well, subscribe to my channel here because I will definitely be talking about it and announcing it and letting you know when the date is exactly. But also follow me on Instagram. I definitely like to kind of post like new makeup news on there because I get really excited when I'm able to order something online that I've been waiting for. So I like to share that with you guys. Um, and I think Instagram is probably a little bit faster than YouTube. So anyway, definitely follow me there on Instagram. My handle's down below in my description box. So anyway, back to these lipsticks. So she's come out with four new lipsticks two different finishes and there's two colors in each finish. So just a quick word about the packaging before we get into the formula and the swatches and everything. They come in these boxes just like her plush matte velvet ones. Um, the only difference is it says insanely saturated lip color which is one of the finishes and then the other finish is luxuriously lucent lip color. Um, the ingredients are on the back here if you're interested. They're made in Italy and there's an 18 month shelf life for these. So the component to these lipsticks are just like her plush matte velvet ones that came out, like I keep mentioning, uh, the end of last year. And so they're these, just this beautiful matte gold finish. They have her L with the lip monogram at the top there. Uh, and then the name of the colors at the bottom. And these are magnetic tubes, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and just take a look at these colors one by one. What I'll be doing is giving you kind of a close up of the bullet. I'll show you some hand swatches. And then what I'll do is a lip swatch. What I'm going to do is like dab it on first. She, um, she being Lisa Eldridge talked about that in her video where you can kind of just dab it on because these are so pigmented. If you just want like a little bit of a lighter touch, you can just kind of dab it on and not swipe. So what I'm going to do is actually dab each of these colors on, maybe blend it in a a little bit with my lips so we can get a sense of the color if you apply it lightly which I feel like I probably will on the everyday and then I'll go over each one uh, with a nice strong swipe so we can get a good sense of its full pigmentation so that's the plan let's go ahead and start with the luxuriously lucent lip colors so these are the lip colors that are uh, a little bit creamier, a little bit lighter. Not that any of these aren't very pigmented, but they're like a little bit more of like a cream formula, more moisturizing. And I, I'm going to guess, not that I know, I'm going to guess that they're going to be a little bit more comfortable on the lips. So again, there's two colors. The first one is Go Lightly. And I believe that's a nod to Audrey Hepburn's character in Breakfast at Tiffany's. And uh, if you remember that movie, she's always kind of putting lipstick on in the back of the cab. And I feel like this color is like the perfect perfect rendition of that maybe that one's like a little bit more nude i just feel like this is such a holly go lightly color so here's a close look at the bullet and here is a hand swatch of go lightly and lisa eldridge describes this as like a coral salmony color all right so let's go ahead and do a lip swatch so i'm going to dab first really really creamy and I like the like light wash of color it gives me really pretty I mean is this not just I think all of these colors but this one I feel like is just perfect for these summer months it's like the perfect beachy kind of lip color all right let me go ahead and do like a strong swipe so we can get kind of a better idea of its full pigmentation So 
So there is Go Lightly. Wow. These are even more moisturizing than I thought they would be, especially for such a bright color. It's I think it's hard to get this kind of this level of pigmentation yet kind of retain the moisturizing qualities of a lipstick, but this is beautiful. So that is Go Lightly. The other color in this luxuriously lucid lip color finish is called Love of My Life. And this color is a deeper kind of true pink color. It's very, very neutral in my book. It's a very kind of like bright rose kind of color. So here is a close up of the bullet and a hand swatch for you. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to dab this first before I do a full swipe. Wow, another beautiful color that I normally would not have picked out for myself, but it's so pretty. There's really something so interesting about the undertones of these lipsticks. They're much, I feel like they're much brighter on the lips, which I don't know, it's almost like a light bulb on your lips. It just lights up. I feel like it just lights up my entire face. And it's just not what I would expect when I just look at this color in the bullet. Just kind of looks like a really pretty pink, but there's something so, so pretty and bright about it on the lips. I am really, really loving these. Let me go ahead and do a strong swipe. So there is love of my life. Don't they just glow? There's something about these colors that just glow and they're, they're just Oh, they're just unsuspecting in the bullet. You know, I just, it's just not what I expect when I see the lipstick in the bullet, but there's something really electric about these colors so far about these colors. Wow. Okay. Well, I thought Go Lightly was my favorite, but this one is up there too. Wow. Leave it to Lisa Eldridge to create lipstick colors that just make you feel so pretty and feminine, just gorgeous. All right, so let's move on to the insanely saturated uh, lipstick. So there's two colors here. The first one is Rainbow Spill, and this is the first one that Lisa Eldridge demoed in one of her videos before she kind of did like a whole reveal video. And I was, I was definitely intrigued. Again, not a color that I would normally go for or wear, but I was really, really intrigued, especially when she used the word neon to describe it. I was like, neon? Really? So this formula is uh, like a demi matte formula. So I believe they're going to be a little bit more highly pigmented than the previous formula, but not quite as matte as her plush matte velvet uh, red lipsticks that she came out with. So here's a close up look at the bullet for Rainbow Spill. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of texture on these, but it, the texture is more, I don't know, spongy looking versus the velvet ones, the red velvet ones that really looked kind of furry and velvety. This has definitely some texture to the bullet, but not quite the same as that. Uh, and then here is a hand swatch of Rainbow Spill. So let me go ahead and do a lip swatch of this. I'm gonna dab first again. Yeah, right off the bat, these are much more pigmented. And I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of blend that in a little bit. I love that. It's almost like a little bit of a, like a popsicle stain. It's really pretty. And I do think this one is a little bit brighter than Love of My Life one, the last one that I just lip swatched. This one's just a little bit, like she said, like there's a little bit of neon there. And I think, you know, the brightness is turned up just a notch on this one. Okay, let me go ahead and do a full swipe. All right, so there is Rainbow Spill. It is really, really bright. This is definitely not in my comfort zone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable wearing this at full, <laughs> at full swipe, but what a fun color. This is so, so beautiful. And some of you asked me when, you know, when I do this video to do some dupe swatches, I don't have anything like this, like any of these colors in my collection. Like I said, I have a lot of nudes and I have a lot of reds, but I really don't have a lot of pinks. And this one is very, very unique. There's probably one out there. I, I just don't have anything like this in my collection. So despite its matte finish, it definitely has like a creamy feeling. It feels very uh, like silicone-y. It's, it's a little similar to the Pat McGrath uh, Matte Trance lipsticks. But I will say they're a little bit more comfortable than her plush velvet matte ones, which are more matte than this, and they feel a little bit more matte on the lips. So this is Rainbow Spill. 
So last but definitely not least is Skyscraper Rose, and this is also in the Insanely Saturated formula. And let's take a close look at the bullet. Again, it has that kind of spongy looking texture to it. It's really cool, actually. And then here is a hand swatch of Skyscraper Rose. And, you know, I said this about, I think, all the other colors, but this one, when I swatched it, it's so much brighter than what you see in the bullet. These are really, really interesting colors, but let me go ahead. I'm going to dab this one on first. So here is Skyscraper Rose, just lightly dabbed on. I think you guys can already see how bright it is. There's that glowing characteristic to this color, just like the other ones. So, so special. Okay, let me do a full lip swatch for you. Um, I'm actually looking around. I probably need a lip brush for this. Well, let me try it first and then we'll see. This is stunning, stunning. This really, it just looks like uh, like a deeper rose in the bullet, right? And then on the lips, it's like this neon fuchsia. It is so amazing. I probably could have used a lip brush here, but we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> wow, I really love these. I'm so glad I went back and got the other two that I didn't originally get. I know um, she actually demoed using these also as cheek colors, which I think is great, especially when you have such a bold lip. Kind of washes out the rest of your face. So I'm just gonna dab some of this um, skyscraper rose onto my cheeks here. I am loving this color more and more. And have you guys ever seen me wear a color even close to something like this? Never. And I love it. I don't usually thank <laughs> companies or people for their creations, although I feel like I should, but I just want to thank Lisa Eldridge for creating these. I think that they're really, really unique and special. And I think that's hard to do in this day and age, especially with makeup. It's like a lot of things are just kind of rehashed, but these are incredibly unique. I just think these colors are beautiful. I love the formulas. I love how unassuming they look in the bullet. And then once you put them on, they're like light bulbs for your face. I think they're astounding. I really do. I think they're really, really astounding. So I was just on the site and the bad news is it looks like everything is out of stock at the moment, but she is going to be restocking the velvet lipsticks, her red ones. And I will try and remember to link to my review video of those. Um, so you can see some lip swatches of that if you're interested in purchasing them this second go around. So I'm hoping that she's going to come out with these again, because these are amazing. If I had to pick my favorite formula, you guys know, it would be the luxuriously lucent lip color because I love how creamy and moisturizing they felt, yet they were still completely pigmented. Just really, really beautiful, but just so moisturizing, which a dry lip owner like myself really, really appreciates. But these are all great. And this insanely saturated lip color, while it definitely has like a matter finish, doesn't feel it doesn't feel drying on the lips definitely more drying than the luxuriously lucent but like not horrible not like a matte lipstick so i hope you enjoyed this video i really rushed to get this up for you guys so i hope it's not all over the place but thank you so so much for watching and tuning in let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section i'm sure i forgot something and all the information will be down below in my description box give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video